Canadian winters can be tough on wine grapevines. A single extreme cold snap can damage vines and reduce crop yields by 20 to 30 percent. When temperatures drop below minus 20 for an extended period, the whole crop is at risk. And it takes two years for a vine to recover, amounting to a significant financial loss for growers and vintners. Carl Bogdanoff and his team at the Pacific Agri-Food Research Centre in Summerland, British Columbia, are working with grape growers to better protect vines against the deep freeze. In the past, say about 30 years ago, uh, the wine industry was fairly small and also was based on winter hardy hybrid varieties that produced fairly medium quality wine. The wine industry here in British Columbia decided to focus primarily on quality and to do that they replant all their vineyards with premium Vitus vinifera varieties such as Merlot, Cab Franc, Chardonnay, uh, all those wine varieties that we all uh, know and love. Vitus vinifera can tolerate some freezing, but they are uh, seriously tested when temperatures become record low temperatures. And when we do get these really freezing temperatures, uh, grape buds are killed, uh, vine tissue is damaged, the phloem or xylem or even the roots are, is damaged, or the vine can be totally killed outright. It is a multidisciplined initiative that is fully engaged with the industry. The team monitors temperatures and bud hardiness at many locations across the Okanagan and Similkameen Valleys. Participating growers receive a bi-weekly bud hardiness report for major wine grape varieties. They use this information to assess the risk of winter injury before and during an Arctic event to help them decide when to operate fans that draw warmer air into vineyards. Knowing bud damage levels also helps in deciding how much to prune. Last winter, this vine was compromised. Its phloem and xylem cells were damaged. It wasn't completely girdled, so this vine broke bud, sent out shoots and had some crops, but when it got really hot this summer, uh, this vine totally collapsed and now is dead. Additionally, the research team collects data in several other current research projects that are looking at the effects on hardiness of rootstocks and varietal selections, irrigation practices, use of fans to mix air in the vineyards, amount of crop on the vines, ground cover between vine rows, disease, leaf removal and cluster positioning, and how a plant hormone, one that improves grape color, is also contributing to bud hardiness. Anything that we can do to, you know, make the vines hardy or even two degrees, two, three degrees uh, is huge and it's the difference between up to 50% damage to replanting, uh, crop loss, and having a total successful uh, year in the succeeding year. So it's really important for us to understand how we can help these vines weather these cold snaps that occur periodically and to develop uh, new vineyard management practices that can improve the cold hardiness of a grapevine. Each summer, the team's interim results are presented at the BC Wine Grape Council's Enology and Viticulture Trade Show. Final results will be made available to growers in 2019. For Canadian vintners, smart science ensures you can enjoy Canadian wines, room temperature, or chilled.